on eight. A Bay Area father and son lost in the backwoods of a state park as the sun went down. News Channel 8's Paul Mueller joining us live from Alafaya State Park in Lithia with this story. All right, Paul, some scary moments here. How did they manage to make it out? As scary indeed as these mosquitoes bite me in. Okay, they managed to get out just by a 911 call. And here they were at the park. You know, it's kind of A beautiful day for a bike ride here at the Alafaya State Park in Lithia. Yeah, I was having a good time. That good time that turned into this. A father and his young son lost as fear and darkness set in. You're in the middle of nowhere pretty much. And all you see is just trees around you, trees around you, and you cannot find a way out. Juan Duenas and his son Mateo had been riding their bikes for hours, not to mention on a new trail they'd never been on before. I mean, we've been trying to find the exit, but we keep going in circles. With the dispatcher keeping Juan on the line, deputies soon realized the terrain was just too tough. So up went the chopper, and not long after... The pilot hitting them with the spotlight. He's right on top of us. He's right on top of us. All right, sir, if you have a flashlight, turn it on and start waving it towards them, okay? I am, yeah. After finding a safe place to land, the pilot scooped them up and took them to safety. And they were in for um, a long night had it not been for our uh, aviation unit. A scare that brought father and son close together. So we bonded closer and closer together so we know like what we have in common. And now the two planning for their next ride. No more new trails. <laughs> we just keep to the old trail. <laughs> And back live here in Lithia tonight, that entire rescue took about an hour. The sheriff's office tells me they do about six to eight of those rescues each and every year. As for father and son, you know what? They say they're not going to be planning on coming back here anytime soon. And, you know, the sun was complaining about mosquitoes tonight, Keith. And I can see exactly why, especially at a time like this. <laughs> All right. Well, don't get lost Oof. out there, Paul. Appreciate the report. That's a good ending to that story. Thank you. And it's